hey guys, uh, look, we can all pretend we're living in the modern age, but everyone knows racism is alive and well. You'll see that phrase quite a bit in the media. Jim Goat, I think, documented a bunch of them in a row. Yeah, this uh, beautiful, normal black waitress was working in a restaurant, and a couple that she was trying to serve very cordially went, We don't want no Negroes serving us no food! Unbelievable, huh? And then that woman went away crying. She's just trying to feed her family. And uh, Red Robin said, you know what? And then the next day, they all, in solidarity with her, they wore black armbands. No, that's not what happened. You see, that doesn't happen. But we want it to happen so badly. There is a huge demand for bigotry and prejudice. And there's a huge demand for victims. Not only do we want there to be evil people out there saying, no, thank you. I don't like you. You're different. <laughs> Not only do we want that, but we also want to be the victim. We want to be the one, yeah, I was just a, a hard scrabble lady just trying to feed my family. And they said, get lost. And they beat, they did beat me. So they did give me 20 lashes. Sorry. Not going down. And when it does go down, when you do find a few exceptions, nah, they never fit the story. They're always black or immigrant or if there's a race war, it's Mexicans. And blah, I want like evil racist people and I want to be a victim, but I'm white. I know because the supply is not meeting the demand, I'm just going to create a situation where I'm the victim and bigotry got in the way of my normal lifestyle and then everyone can band together and I'll be a hero and people will even send me money. Check out the craziest story of the year so far. She's hard to miss, and Ashley Chirizio likes it that way. This okay, is me, for sure. Stop, stop. But last I used to have blue hair and tattoos. That's what we were going for. It was a F you to society. We were trying to ostracize ourselves. We were punks. We were saying, I don't like you. Dave Navarro said this once. He goes, look, I got tattoos to say, get away from me. I don't want to talk to you. Now they mean, come on over and say hi. I, I don't understand that you're a nonconformist on purpose. You like it that way. And then you go, someone found me to be unusual. Buy a dictionary. That's what the word means. Go ahead. Saturday, in the middle of a busy dinner shift, a manager told the 24-year-old one of her customers asked for a new server. He says um, she doesn't like the way you look. She doesn't like what you represent. You know, the tattoos, the hair, the piercings. Okay, so can you just stop for a second? So... I don't know if you know this lady, but your hair and your tattoos in 2016 represent a social justice warrior. They don't represent someone who's for Trump. They tend not to be very patriotic. There's a lot that that sort of denotes. Now, whether you're conscious of that or not, I don't know. In 1979, it, that look meant a totally different thing. But right now, it means dogmatic feminist who annoys people and turns tiny little incidents into a huge thing. And it turns out that the customer was right again. Go ahead. Server. A Red Robin spokesperson said they're aware of the situation and that Ashley's hair and tattoos fit into their dress policy. And I've never had somebody look at me and decide. Look at this. Pause. That one of those tattoos is a fake Red Robin tattoo that she just glued on her arm, and that's become part of the story. I think they start. Oh yeah. So we'll get to that. But the, everyone else got fake tattoos of Red Robin for her, and then she's wearing them, so she's in solidarity with herself. This reminds me of that walk a mile in her shoes thing where they had the military wear high heels and walked a mile in her shoes, and then women were putting on high heel shoes and walking with them. So we had women walking in solidarity with themselves for themselves. We are spoiled brats. We're a nation of ingrates. Go ahead. Serve them. After a good bit of crying, Ashley wrote about Why are you crying? Facebook and the story took off. She okay. says she's received gifts, even money, but says the words of support are what matter most. Stop, stop, stop. So uh, I'll, I'll put the Facebook thing up, but there it is. So she said that she cried and cried. You're crying because people weren't into your blue hair and tattoos. I cried and cried, and I'm going to pray for you. She's going to pray for that couple again. You're not disfigured. You don't have cancer, okay? You basically dressed up in blackface and complained about racism. You're like those morbidly obese people who say, people don't find me attractive and they think I'm unhealthy. Yeah, you're not allowed to do a thing to yourself and then complain that it's not accepted. Unless it happened at birth, you're not allowed to complain, dummy. Go ahead. People tell me I'm awesome, keep doing me, 
They See, again, sorry, pause. This whole, like, people tell me I'm awesome, keep doing me. They always say, why would the person lie? You know, we see this with fake rape cases and all these allegations about hate crime hoaxes and any kind of, I was, I was a victim of prejudice. Well, why would you lie? You'd lie because you get sent money because you're a hero. Look at her. Everyone loves her. She got so much attention. She made it all about her. She's an annoying person, the kind of person you wouldn't want to get served at a restaurant because it might bum out your meal. They're going to come in with their families. It's just 100% like overwhelming happiness and positivity from the community. No, not 100%. She has received community support, and also her coworkers here at Red Robin are showing their solidarity. Okay, stop, stop. You know when a little kid has cancer and they go through chemotherapy or something? By the way, that is incredibly heartbreaking, but the good news is those kids tend to beat it much more than parents do, much more than adults. So they go to school and they're bald. And they're bald because of the chemotherapy. So then other kids in the school shave their heads in solidarity. That's awesome. That's really cool. That's really heartwarming. That's a community getting together. Now, if a little kid is in your school and doesn't have cancer, then we don't really need you shaving your head. I'm sorry, but you can't be part of one of the... If you try, you're just virtue signaling, okay? So if you're not needed in a social justice thing, I'm sorry, you don't get to be a freedom rider. You don't get to be part of this thing if there's no bad thing that you're fighting. You can't just invent it out of thin air and then make it the kid with cancer overnight. Look at this. In a very colorful way. This Friday night, bartenders, servers, and hostesses put for what? In their look hair. at this cuck. Some even sported some temporary tattoos. For what? We say, look, if you didn't like it, can't sit with any of us. You know, because <laughs> now we all have blue hair and tattoos. You're a black Ashley kid with Hope cancer now, who is a, also a burn victim with a cleft a palate. Who doesn't look like they do? Jessica Jagloys right. used to attend. Now. I get that the supply of bigotry does not meet the demand. But what I don't get is why is this their massive demand? Why are we so determined to make the West look like an evil, prejudiced, racist hellhole? Why? I can't figure it out. Did you like that? Okay, check it out. I got a whole comedy show called How's It Going, A? Eh? You just have to click right here to subscribe.